All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to go over um, stack navigation, which is kind of this um, a standard way of navigating in uh, mobile applications. So let's go over um, the setup here. So I created a um, subfolder here called screens, and I have three files in it, one called start, one called second, and one called third. Obvious names, that's the order in which I'm going to have them navigate. Um, they each just have some very basic code in here, just a view and a uh, text um, that just says the name of the page so that we know that we've navigated correctly. Um, so I actually don't need uh, most of these uh, imports here. I might use a button later, uh, but uh, you can really just have style, text, view, and button, and you should be fine. Uh, for each of those pages. They're all kind of set up the same where they just say the name of the page. All right, um, so that's pretty straightforward, hopefully. And I also created another um, folder called Navigate, and I created this navigator.js file. And this is where I'm um, going to uh, import my stuff related to navigation. So I'm going to paste some code in here and kind of uh, talk about it and review what I'm actually pasting in. Um, so make sure you do these imports. Um, you will have to, if you're not in uh, Expo Snack, uh, if you're in some other kind of environment, you probably have to do an NPM or a Yarn um, for these uh, various um, libraries, right? And so the all this code will be provided to you so you can, um, you'll be able to uh, look at this snack and see what you need to import. Um, or just kind of Google what the import is for each of these, but they're really straightforward, very commonly used um, app, uh, libraries for React Native. And so, all right, so th those are the two um, remote imports. And then we have our files that we've imported from our screens folder. Uh, so, you know, start, second, and third. And now this is the, what really, this is it. It's all the code you need to create a simple, navigation um, and so we're basically making this constant which we could have called whatever but I called it my navigator and you call the create stack navigation uh, which we have right here um, and I'll talk about what's in here in a second but uh, so then all you need to do is export an app container and we're going to, have to do something in the app JS to um, use that app container uh, and you just it sends a parameter of our um, the my navigator constant that we created. So anyway, in here, in this function, in the create stack navigator function, we're basically just identifying the different um, routes, the different screens that we want to navigate to. And so uh, you give it a name and then you do a, have a colon and then it's the screen that you're going to navigate to. So that has to match what you're importing here. Um, and I just actually, I showed you three different ways. They could have all been done this way. I could add it second and then second after a colon. But I want you to see that you can have this um, JavaScript object way of uh, identifying the screen. Um, and I could actually have more things in here. Um, I could identify, like for instance, I could change the color of my uh, title bar or make it so that a title bar doesn't exist. And I will go over such things in um, a, uh, a future tutorial. Um, and then, so just so you know, what you write here is what will appear in the title as the title of the screen. And so you might want it to be more than one word and maybe you don't want it to say second screen all like up against um, the two words connected without a space. But if you did that here, you'd get an error. Um, and so to be able to do it without getting an error, it, you have to make sure you put it in um, quotation marks. And that way you can type it with a space uh, in between the words. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, like I said, you, you could have, we could have done like one, two, three, just like I did the first one here. But I wanted you to see that there's different options for doing it. Um, all right, so uh, next thing is we're gonna to have to go to the um, app.js file and we need to import our, let's go to app.js. I've kind of stripped this down a bit and I'm gonna import though 
uh, what was it called? Um, my navigator from um, that was a folder called navigate and the file navigator. So that's it. That'll allow me to get it. And what I can do is actually get rid of everything in here and just put in uh, my navigator. And now we should see um, our uh, page here. And you see we have the title that shows up here, um, which happens in any time you have a stack navigator. Um, so this is cool, but would not really useful. We don't have a means for navigating to um, the next page. So let me show you how you can do that. Um, we're going to create a function um, uh, right up here. So actually, I'm sorry, I need to go into my start. So I want to create a function in here that's going to take me. So this function I just called nav, could call it whatever I want. Um, by default, you get um, this prop that is uh, sent to this um, just by it being in here with the um, create uh, app container. So you get this prop that's called navigation, and then you can do dot navigate. And where do you want to navigate to? It, this has to match one of the um, screens in our navigator, right? So uh, it matches that, so that's good. Um, so we can come back here. And so now if I, whenever I call this function, uh, it would make sense, I guess, to call this from a button, right? So uh, right underneath our, my title here, I'm gonna put a button um, and I'm just gonna say second screen because it's gonna take me to second screen. And on press, we're gonna um, execute the uh, nav function. And so let's see. Yep, that worked nicely. So I'm on the second page and I have a little back out to take me back to the first. And so that's great. And so I could just kind of replicate this in my um, second page and change this to um, third screen, right? I think that's how I spelled it with a space in between. Um, and then I'll, uh, let me grab that button as well and go into my second and put this right here. And this is gonna actually take me to the third screen, right? Um, so let, let's see if that works. Second, good. Third, perfect. And then I can come back and back. Um, so now there is one other thing I wanna show you is, uh, let's say you are on that third screen um, and you uh, kind of just wanted to go um, back to home. Uh, well, you, you can do that. Um, you can, we can actually, well, I'll show you one other thing before that. So right now, I'll put this right on the second screen. I'm going to put another button down. And uh, in this, this instance, though, I have a kind of a function built into the um, button call here where uh, it's calling this prop that's going to say go back, which will do the same thing as the little back hour that you get up here. So let's see. So when I come here, um, I have this go back button. So I could click here or I can click here and they both take me um, to my start page, uh, which is, is pretty nice. Um, and so, yeah, so the, um, the navigation, so I'm going to, I'm going to copy this and put it in my third page and show you that, um, instead of, um, the go back button, I'm going to use this other prop that is called pop to top, uh, kind of a funny name, but actually works well that takes you back to the home page. So um, I'm gonna to go to the third screen, I'm on the third screen and hit and go back and now I'm back at the start page. So that's kind of nice. Uh, so like I said, I will share all this code with you, but this is in a nutshell, uh, stack navigation. Hope you enjoyed that.